For those who drink, the quest for alcohol can be quite difficult if one is underage, as it should be. But for some for whom the price tag renders it unaffordable, they seek out alternative sources. I'm Sasha Wood, here to tell you about over 40 people who died of alcohol poisoning on IO. Reports say that at least 41 people have died in Irkutsk after drinking scented bath oil. Tatiana Lebediva of the local health department issued a statement on December 19, 2016, that the victims had died of methanol poisoning. Officials say this was not a question of inadequate labeling, as the bottle were all clearly marked and explicitly stated that they are not for external use. The problem lies not with confusion, but with an apparent increase in the level of stratification between the rich and the poor. Estimates speculate that up to 12 million Russians regularly ingest surrogate alcohol. Surrogate alcohol being any substance that contains ethanol that humans ingest that isn't meant for human consumption. This could include items such as hand sanitizer, mouthwash, Windex, rubbing alcohol, antifreeze, liquid soap, and in Russia, apparently cologne is a popular outlet when one is seeking an alternative road to drunkenness. Alexei Navalny, who wishes to challenge current President Vladimir Putin in the 2018 election, has stated that surrogate alcohol poisoning is a huge problem, claiming on a national level it is worse than terrorism. He has stated, The problem for Russia and its national security is roughly a thousand times more important than Syria, Aleppo, Ukraine, and Trump put together. Since 2013, the poverty level has lowered even further, with many people falling below it in Russia. The Guardian states that the liquid consumed in this case was counterfeit by which is sold as a relaxant to add to bathwater, but on the street it is widely used as an alcohol surrogate. It is extremely cheap, costing the equivalent of 87 cents. I can't even imagine how that would taste or the sheer desperation that would drive someone to try it. Surrogate alcohol abuse runs in the exact same vein as the problems hitting soil closer to home, which on top of surrogate alcohol abuse would also be the accessibility of cheap and dangerous man-made drugs. These are being consumed due to their extremely cheap price, but have many side effects, as could be seen when many people owe deed on the streets of New York earlier in this year of 2016. All of which speaks to a larger issue, feelings of fear and depression felt by those living in poverty. These deaths and those like them are a symptom of a much larger problem that cannot be solved by simply removing these products from the shelves or black markets. What do you guys think the solution is? Can you think of one? Share your thoughts on all of this down below. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching IO, and as always stay tuned to stay informed.